The man who allegedly jumped from a bungalow to evade arrest in an anti-money laundering blitz linked to $1 billion in cash and assets was a director of No Signboard Holdings. Su Haijin, 40, a Cypriot national, was a director of the restaurant operator from October 2021 to June 2022, a search with the Accounting and Corporate Regulatory Authority ACRA revealed. The company's 2021 annual report, filed last October, lists Su as holding a 20% stake in the company. The report said he resigned voluntarily as a non-executive director to focus on other commitments. A spokesman for No Signboard Holdings told The Straits Times on Thursday that Su was a non-executive director at the company. She said he was not involved in the company's business and operations and did not participate in any of the board's meetings or decision-making processes. She added that there were five other directors at the company during that time. Su was one of ten foreign nationals originally from Fujian, China, who were charged in court on Wednesday over their suspected involvement in offences including forgery, money laundering and resisting arrest. The foreigners, aged between 31 and 44, were arrested on Tuesday following an island-wide raid by more than 400 officers from the Criminal Investigation Department, Commercial Affairs Department, Special Operations Command and Police Intelligence Department. The suspects are believed to be connected to one another. None of them is a Singaporean or permanent resident. Of the ten, three are Chinese nationals. As for the remaining seven, three are Cambodian, Two are Cypriot, one is Turkish, and one is a Vanuatu national. The ACRA search on Su showed that he had the most number of appointments out of the 10 people arrested in the operation. Su was a shareholder and director of Icon High Investment, a private company limited by shares, and held the same roles and mobile phone dealer Daily Glory International. On Wednesday, he was charged with one count of resisting arrest at his good class bungalow in Ewart Park, near Holland Road. The police said that on Tuesday, officers identified themselves outside Sue's bedroom and ordered him to open the door. Instead, he allegedly jumped out of the second floor balcony and fractured his hands and legs. He was found hiding in a drain by the police. When details of his charge were read out in court, Su claimed he thought the knocks had come from someone who wanted to kill him. He said in Mandarin that he had an intimate encounter with a woman in Dubai and her boyfriend had threatened to kill him because of it.